Hi everyone, Scott Nell here with the Scott Nell team. I'm here with Doug Huberman again, again with Lexington Property Management. And topic of today is should a senior citizen keep their home or sell it? Sell it. What are the advantages and disadvantages of keeping or selling? Okay, and the answer is there's no right answer for everybody. Um, I think as we've said before, there's 31 flavors of ice cream at Baskin Robbins for a reason. Everybody's tastes, preferences, and situation is different. However, there's definitely considerations that should be you know, considered, oh, considerations considered, I guess that's not the best way to say it's it, but there, it's there's definitely it, but factors that should be considered yeah. mm -hmm. before making the decision. Sure. And first and foremost, if you decide to keep your family home and you move to a retirement community and it turns out not to be your cup of tea, about for 80 to 90% of the people who move, their initial reaction is, I should have done this two years ago. Mm -hmm. Why didn't I do this sooner? But for the 10 to 20% that it doesn't work out for, by keeping your home when you move, it's you a, can it's go, like a safety, it's, it's you, like a safety net. Right. It's it's, just, so there's more comfort with the decision. Right. You can make the decision knowing that if it doesn't work out for you, you have not just a home, mm. but you have your home to go back to. Absolutely. So that's one one factor to consider. Mm -hmm. The second factor is most seniors have significant amounts of fixed income. They have income that is not going to increase over time. But right. when they move into a retirement community, they have an initial rent and costs, but that's going to increase over time. Right. If they retain the family residence, and even if they never go back to it, the rental income from that residence is going to rise over time as well. Right. So now they have an increasing source of revenue that goes along with increasing costs. Perfect. So it means that their retirement will be easier and they'll be under less financial strain. And then there's also estate planning considerations. Mm -hmm. So for example, there's a basis reset, which means if you bought a home 30, 40 years ago for $50,000 and now it's worth a million dollars, if you sell it because you're moving into a retirement community, there's a $950,000 gain that has to be dealt with on some level. Right. And it may be partially offset, it may not based on what you've declared in the past. But if you keep that home until you pass on, then the federal government and the state government reset the basis from the 50000 you paid mm -hmm. to the million dollars it's worth today. Right. And what that means is when your children sell the home, there's no taxable gain. So what you've done by having a home manager involved while you're living in your home and then retaining the home when you move to the retirement community is you may have denied Uncle Sam with access to taxes on a million dollar gain. Mm -hmm. but to see that it's not just a tactical decision about let's keep the home up so it's worth more and mom and dad can live there more safely, but it also fits into let's help mom and dad make sure they have increasing income to right. offset increasing costs over time. Let's make sure that we give as little of the estate to Uncle Sam as we possibly can. And if mom and dad are conflicted about moving from their home where they made all their memories to a retirement community where they know there's social benefits, why not let them do so knowing that if they don't like it, they can go back. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, I guess you want to call them human factors involved that go well beyond the checklist of what we do every day as a home manager. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thanks again. Thank you. Hey everyone, if you'd like more information about myself or my amazing team, check out scottnellteam.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.